Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to have a look at a very interesting model called as Spatial LM. Now, before I give you the detail about this model, first let's try to understand what is the meaning of Spatial in this context of AI. In the context of this model, Spatial refers to data whose understanding, interpretation or analysis significantly depends on the position, orientation and arrangement in 3D dimensional space. Spatial analysis involves reasoning about relationships among objects, their locations, shapes, sizes, orientation and topological or geometric relationships within an environment. Spatial reasoning is vital in fields such as robotics, autonomous driving, augmented reality, virtual reality, and architectural modeling, where understanding the layout, interactions, and structures of a 3D environment is crucial for effective decision making or intelligent behavior. So, what is this spatial LM then? Spatial LM is a specifically developed large language model designed to understand and interpret 3D point cloud data. A 3D point cloud is a collection of data points represented in three-dimensional space, typically captured by LiDAR sensors, RGB D camera, or reconstructed from images or monocular video sequences. These point clouds provide a rich geometric description of a physical space, including structures, objects, surfaces, and much more. Spatial LM processes this unstructured geometrical data to generate structured and meaningful semantic representation of the scene. For example, if you look at a room or something like that, Structured scene understanding for this spatial LM will involve elements like walls, doors, windows, and also the objects encapsulated into oriented bounding boxes. Now let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works. Before that, let me also give huge thanks to our good friends at Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX 48000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Okay, first up, let me create a virtual environment with Konda. And even before that, I'm just going to kit clone the app code. Doesn't matter the sequence. And I will drop the link to it in video's description. Now let's create a virtual environment. And for that, I'm just going to go with Python 3.11. Let's wait for it while that happens. Let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Okay, let's go back and check what is happening almost there. And then let's install the CUDA version. And now let's install Poetry because we need to install some of the prerequisites here. And then we need to install the Poetry and also the Torch parts and that is going to take a bit of a time. So let's wait. I'll just click Cancel here. And it's finished with a warning which you can ignore. Next up, we need to log in to the Hugging Face. And you can grab your read token from Hugging Face, which is a free token. And I'm just going to go with the read one. So let me paste my token here. Press Enter and press capital Y. And you can see that I am now logged in. And as it is a specialized model, so what they have done is they have provided us a, an example point cloud. And in the current version of Spatial LM, input point clouds are considered axis aligned, where the z-axis is the up axis. And this orientation is really crucial for maintaining consistency. Anyway, so let's download this test data set from Hugging Face. And that was fairly quick. 
let me clear the screen and now in order to do the inference all you need to do is to run this script which they have provided in their repo where we are referencing this point cloud which we have just downloaded and the special lm llama 1 billion model and the model is being downloaded the size is just 2.52 gig and you see it is just generating the bounding boxes you see if you go up this is the whole layout it is generating and it is done very very quick once it has created this point cloud and inference then what we can do we can use the rerun utility to visualize the point cloud and the predicted structured 3d layout and for that all we need to do is to run this command and if you look here what exactly is happening is that we are doing a conversion here into the rerun format that runs a visualization utility to convert the previously produced spatial prediction in the text format into the format accepted by the rerun and as i said rerun is an advanced visualization tool specifically designed for inspecting and interacting visually with 3d scenes images or sensor data so let me run it and that's also done and then you can run the visualization on top of it with the help of rerun and then it is going to give you this visualization which is uh, what we were talking about around 3d point cloud now as i said earlier there could be a lot of applications around it you can have embodied robotics where robots navigating and interacting intelligently within the structured environments we can have autonomous navigation where autonomous vehicles or drones interpreting surroundings accurately and reliably in real time you can also do 3d analysis where you can do architectural planning interior decoration uh, virtual inspection heritage documentation or a lot of other things really i mean the more i think the more use cases i could really think of so overall spatial lm uniquely merges 3d geometric understanding which is point clouds with the powerful semantic reasoning of a large language model offering advanced spatial reasoning consistent structural interpretations and comprehensive scene understanding so i'm very impressed with this model but really keen to hear your thoughts on it as what do you think and by the way if you are resource constrained because it just takes around uh, 8 gp of vram this 1 billion but if you have lesser vram you can go with this 0.5 billion parameter model which is even smaller uh, with slightly less quality but not really bad enough so check it out let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching